What if I told you that back in the day, Apple said no thanks to T-Mobile, giving them the cold shoulder like they were just swipe left on a dating app. Yup, we're diving into the wild world of tech negotiations, network snubs, and why Apple left T-Mobile hanging. How is your sex life? <laughs> <laughs> Introduce a little anarchy. Okay, let's run. Let's take a trip back to the early 2000s, when flip phones were all the rage and the word of smartphones sounded like something out of a scientific novel. Apple had a crazy idea to revolutionize the phone industry with something called the iPhone. Yeah, you might have heard of it. But here's where things get interesting. Apple had a choice to make which carriers get the golden ticket to see their shiny new toy. Now you think Apple would make their new phone on every carrier, right? More carriers, more customers, more cash. But no. Apple was picky. When it came to T-Mobile, Apple said, nah, we're good. But why? Back in the early 2000s, T-Mobile was using a really funky network called T-Mobile Edge. Now, Edge wasn't exactly a speed demon. Now, on the other hand, AT&T or Singular at the time was faster, shiny, and a whole lot more attractive to Apple. Now, see, Steve Jobs being the perfectionist that he was, he wanted the iPhone to seem as cutting edge as possible. And the thought of people complaining about the slow internet on T-Mobile's Edge network, yeah, that was pretty much a no-go. So Apple decided to go exclusively to AT&T, the carrier with the fastest and sexiest network. Now, Apple just didn't want faster speeds. They wanted a lot more. I'm talking like serious control. And Apple wasn't just selling a phone. They were selling an experience. From the hardware to the software to the way you use it, they wanted carriers to play by their rules. AT&T was willing to bend over backwards to get the iPhone. Things like pricing, branding, and even the visual voicemail feature. T-Mobile? Not so much. They weren't even ready to give Apple the key to the kingdom. So Steve Jobs took his ball and went home, or rather to AT&T. So what happened next? Well basically, the iPhone was a huge hit on AT&T, and T-Mobile was pretty much just left to the sideline. Probably wishing they had played a little nicer with Apple. It wasn't happening until 2013. Yeah, you heard that right, 2013, that T-Mobile finally got their hands on an iPhone. T-Mobile just didn't survive, they thrived. They shook up the industry with their uncarrier strategy, forcing other carriers to drop contracts, and eventually, they merged with Sprint. So maybe missing out on the iPhone wasn't so bad after all. Now let's play a little what if game. What if Apple had gone to T-Mobile instead of 18? Would T-Mobile have became the powerhouse that it is? Would iPhone have been successful on any other network? Or would have the iPhone flopped? Well, nobody knows. But one thing's for sure, Apple versus T-Mobile definitely shook up the tech industry in the late 2000s. See, now that's exactly why Apple gave T-Mobile the cold shoulder, and it was probably the best decision for both companies. Apple gained a lot of success with going to T-Mobile, and T-Mobile thrived like hell and became a bigger type company that you'd never think. So what do you guys think about this? Let me know in the comments down below. Catch you on the next one.